Welcome everyone to the next webinar from Sony Healthcare. Cost-effective video over IP systems for ASC integration. Thanks for joining us today. We hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. And although it is odd not to be meeting in person here in the midst of the medical trade show season, we would like instead to take this opportunity to present our integration solution. It's called Nucleus. Today, we will review some specific application notes as advertised, as Nucleus not only serves ORs with full-blown integration functionality, but it also allows ASCs, private practices, and or any kind of procedure room to utilize advanced network-based technologies, usually reserved for fully fit ORs and their larger budgets. And that is the topic for today. Let me tell you about our distinguished presenters for today. We are all with Sony Healthcare Solutions, serving all of North America. I'm Dave Alexander, Marketing Manager, covering our integration products and business. I will be followed by Paul Nunez, Integration Architect, who manages systems and deployment. Our moderator today will be Mark Barron, Senior Network Engineer. And on our panel, we have Shogo Obuchi, who's a Core Development Engineer of Nucleus and other products, and Marco Menares, Senior Network Application Specialist, managing Nucleus and complex interface requirements. Very important, we will have time for Q&A at the end, which we highly value. Please use the on-screen utility to submit your questions and we will get to many, as many of them as possible. Nucleus represents the modern means by which to provide and manage enterprise-based integration. Since it is a modular software-based platform, not only does it have an unparalleled ability to provide functionality, but its approach is by design much more cost effective. Simply stated, as a modular software-based platform, you can add or subtract features as desired. In this way, costs are rich, and you can utilize as much or as little software and options as you wish, or to stay within budget. Also, in a repeated theme today with huge cost reduction impact, Nucleus is designed to run on standard existing net cabling. Saving more money and assisting deployment time, no new large cable plant project is required to deploy Nucleus. No fiber optic cable is required, even if you'd like to record or stream or distribute 4K. Lower costs, network managed systems are just what the ASC market needs at all times, and today is certainly no exception. So what is Nucleus for those who are new to the product? Nucleus is a smart IP-based, scalable, future-proofed, and modality-neutral imaging platform. It's designed for medical environments and its purpose to streamline the acquisition, management, and distribution of audio and video across a hospital's network and beyond. While that is quite a mouthful, it's deeply accurate. It is an IP-based platform that provides quote-unquote integration functionality, traditionally in operating rooms, but occasionally in procedure rooms. And again, since it be, can be configured for smaller applications, the lower costs allow it to penetrate the ASC, private practice, sim lab, or any other type of procedural space market. Since it is actually a modular platform, not just a buzz term, Nucleus can put the tools that are common in an integrated OR into the hands of the ASC. Tools like recording and content management are the most common things desired in the ASC space that are usually out of reach. Recording, for example, when compared to typical inexpensive standalone recorders with no connectivity, for the same per room price or less, anyone can record a case using Nucleus, view it later, view it offline or from another location in real time. Monitor cases from the office or with a patient and their family to review what was done and perhaps review the next steps in the course of a treatment plan, video becomes accessible. You can do much more with it as well if you desire, as you'll see. The principle is simple. Video sources are transported via the network to the central servers where it is routed to its destination, whether that's a local monitor in the room or on a cart or the video archive or to the classroom or to a pathologist, wherever desired. Nucleus does this in a secure manner 
and it's 24 seven managed, monitored and maintained. Very important aspects of the system that are unique to Nucleus that we'll touch upon later. The system architecture is literally as shown in this simple diagram. Again, video sources, including all forms of endoscopes, ultrasound, microscopes, C-arms, any video device or source from any manufacturer is plugged in and sent to the system via a system interface unit. Those units are sometimes called network interface boxes or encoders. On the display side, video sent to a monitor is received via the counterpart unit known as a decoder. And that's it. The components are powerful, proprietary, and provide functionality that goes far beyond that of video encoders and decoders, quote unquote, that you may see in the corporate or hospitality markets. Again, the schematic is literally this simple. For an ASC or a one source room configuration, like the one shown here, this is all that is needed. You have the one source, whether it's an endoscope or ultrasound or whatever it is, then one encoder. That's all that's needed in the room to record. With the interface in place, stills, video in HD, 3D, or 4K are processed into the system. A very short list of equipment per room is what makes Nucleus, and in particular this application, so cost effective. Again, we mentioned it before, but to reduce costs and very important capability unique to your Nucleus, the system is geared to utilize existing data infrastructure. Again, existing drops are usually the case. If any new data drops are needed to be deployed for a Nucleus system, they're very inexpensive. The few that may be required otherwise, that may be reused from existing drops in the room. I would be remiss not to recap Sony's long tradition in the medical video market worldwide, in case you are not familiar. Sony has been in the healthcare space for over 40 years, and you may not know it. Nucleus represents a large commitment on a global level at Sony, rolling out this product only after several years of market research, R&D, and product quality measures were completed. Our dedication to the platform continually delivers new innovations, features, and creative ways to enhance our systems and the quality of care. And that's what it's all about. Sony recorders. Our recorders have been used by radiologists and surgeons for decades to capture procedures for training, education, and appending to the patient record. Sony's first medical product was a pneumatic three-quarter inch tape-based recorder launched in the mid 80s. As technology progressed and the need for surgeons and staff to record directly to a central server system or some other archive, Sony introduced its first network recorder. That was back in 2008. Camera control units. As the worldwide leader in camera technology, our sensors and component level camera modules are used in the majority of endoscopic, microscopic, and robotic surgical systems throughout the world, not to mention the majority of cell phones. PTZ cameras. We also offer a large portfolio of finished cameras, such as ceiling and wall mount and tilt zoom cameras. We use them in ORs and many other spaces for room monitoring, patient monitoring, to keep an eye on housekeeping and or security. Printers. When it comes to printers for the OR, Sony maintains the number one ranking in global market share leadership of units for hard copy imaging, a position we hold in diagnostic imaging as well with modalities like ultrasound, C-arms, and X-rays across the industry's major modality manufacturers. But if you know us in the medical industry at all, you probably know us for our surgical displays. Sony is the number one global leader in the manufacture and sales of surgical displays. We have a full range of 2D, 3D, HD, 4K, 3D, 4K monitors in all popular sizes. With 4K endoscopes rapidly becoming the industry standard, surgeons the world over have come to rely on Sony's 4K displays for the finest detail and truest colors both crucial elements of their work. In fact, our pioneering continues as we are about to launch our latest 32-inch monitor. It's a 4K display, specifically designed with the ASC and smaller applications in mind, the LMD-X3200MD. And today we actually have a little preview for you. 
benefiting all our customers, in particular ASCs. This is the latest model surgical display from Sony. You'll see this released via the press in the next few weeks, but today, again, we have a little sneak peek for you. If you're in an ASC, the first question is, well, what's the price? We can't yet say the price in today's webinar, but know that it is groundbreaking on purpose. This monitor comes in at an all new lower price point. And it's packed with technology, 4K resolution, high dynamic range imaging, but you haven't seen, if you haven't seen HDR, it's like a turbocharger for the color temperature on a monitor. At Sony, the tradition of evolving our technology in the most impactful ways continues with this product. It's a new design and it has smart features like it runs on AC or DC, whatever is best for your configuration. It has a redesigned cable cubby on the back so that everything stays tight and clean, dust free when it comes to the cabling. Rest assured, we will make sure that all of you see the details again when this is rolled out in the press. And again, you need to know about this monitor in particular as the price point is groundbreaking. As far as the reality of IP-based video systems and their impact on the market and individuals taking advantage of this as a method of distribution, it's staggering. According to Cisco, the world's leader in corporate networking equipment sales, it would take an individual more than 5 million years to watch the amount of video that will cross global IP networks each month in 2021. 5 million years to watch one month of video. Based on cost and the advantageous feature set, IP video is taking over. If anything, purely based on cost. Flexibility and wide range of functionality that Nucleus then brings to the table makes facilities take a look at the system as an impact on workflow is undeniable and the savings undeniable as well. Nucleus is agile. If you need to adapt to this configuration, a larger room from the one source setup that we looked at earlier, all that is needed are additional interface units. The system is greatly and easily expandable. Still, the principle is simple even in a larger room. Video sources are transported via the network to a central server and are then delivered or stored securely from there. We'll focus on more of the applications that can be addressed in a moment, but you need to know that systems from Sony are 24 seven monitored. More importantly, they are remote managed. With biomed and IT staff continually shrinking or non-existent at all in the ASC world, this is another driving reason to deploy systems that are almost self-managed. More about that too shortly, but that's what Nucleus is. It's a self-managed integrated platform. This is a function that has typically been far too expensive for the ASC, room monitoring. With the use of inexpensive PTZ cameras or even low cost dome cameras typical of security systems, views into the rooms can be sent to a central nurse's station or perhaps to the housekeeping manager's office or both. Only one large screen, one receiver, and one quote unquote mosaic function, that's the name of the smart application that provides this feature. And very easily and with no large AV system gathering dust and taking up space in the corner, this is in place very cost effective, so much so it's an all new level compared to baseband systems. Just a few additional key points before we pass it over. Recording oriented applications such as urology, ENT, OB, ophthalmic, and any surgical follow-up type procedure, again, including ASCs, all can benefit from Nucleus. Currently, Nucleus has over 500 ORs running the product with several installations in progress here in the US. 510K was received in March in the US, so systems are just becoming available. The system again is geared for existing LAN infrastructure, retrofits, this reduces costs, very impactful element within Nucleus. Patient monitoring systems with pan tilt zoom cameras and other sources broadcasted to key locations, it's a hot topic 
We're going to talk more about that. You can see how the application is met by Nucleus. No equipment racks, no dust, less to clean. Pediatrics and neuro-friendly rooms become possible with no dust and no rack of equipment. Remote maintenance and monitoring. Again, keep technicians out of the OR altogether by doing things remotely. Since this is software-based, we manage software from afar. Once the base back end of a nucleus system is put in place, adding rooms is inexpensive. Moving or changing rooms is simple. Again, one back end serves all. Nucleus has no limitations in the number of inputs or outputs. Truly unlimited expansion. This is very important when it comes to more complex rooms. Hybrid rooms, for example, have many, many sources. And in the past, you had to pay more money for larger baseband switchers. Not the case with Nucleus. The system provides high level functions on a lower budget than traditional integration. Again, thanks to our unique network-based technology. The product is deeply configurable, and as you can see, is suitable for the simplest exam room all the way up to the most complex surgical suite. For more on the specifics of the overall system, technology, and a few relevant configurations, I hand it over to systems architect Paul Nunez. Paul has been on the front lines adapting Nucleus for remote patient monitoring purposes, something else that is a natural configuration for the product providing many benefits. Again, our thanks for taking the time to be with us today. Paul? Thank you, David. Well done. So just to recap some of the points presented so far. Nucleus is uniquely suited for an outpatient surgery center. Our solution utilizes your existing network and our equipment takes up no floor space in your patient base. We are completely vendor neutral. It doesn't matter what the equipment is. If it has video output capabilities, we can capture images from it, record video, and broadcast it anywhere on the hospital enterprise. If you have several patient bays, we can generally run all of your clinical spaces on the same system thereby reducing infrastructure and installation costs. All of the content is recorded and stored securely on our video server and is easily accessible via a web browser for playback, editing, and downloading. To help you visualize the platform in an ambulatory suite, I've mocked up this slide with a single modality, in this case, a microscope, a single wall display, and a PTZ camera in the ceiling. Our user interface touch panel is right there on the right. The encoder, or IPC as we call it, ingests the video signal and puts it on the IP network. It's not to scale in this slide, but I wanted to show it large enough so you could see it. It's connected to each video modality and a similar IPC, or decoder, is connected to each display. We have a special visa mount for the IPC on the display, so it fits neatly between the display and the mounting bracket. That touch panel to the right of the screen controls the entire system. It can start and stop the capture of an intervention, switch the right image to the right display, initiate a timeout, and broadcast any source to a remote viewer. The touch panel can live on the nurse desk it can be mounted on a wall, or if necessary, it can be eliminated altogether, and the entire user interface can be controlled from any web browser. So for example, the nurse computer that has Internet Explorer or Chrome can have a tab open that completely controls Nucleus. We can also automate the recording process, so the recording begins as soon as the intervention starts, or with the touch of a foot pedal. One of the main benefits of Nucleus is the ability to broadcast images from the clinical space utilizing low cost fixed lens cameras or PTZ cameras. This is especially useful in an ambulatory surgery center where you might have multiple patient bays and limited staff. Broadcasting allows the remote nurse to be virtually present in the room, which can lower staff exposure to critically ill patients 
while maintaining quality care. In the case of PTZ cameras, the remote nurse can easily point the camera at the patient, as you see here, or at any of the equipment in the room. Remote patient monitoring is extremely useful, especially in the age of COVID, where nurses often need to prioritize a patient that needs immediate care versus a stable patient. There's also the issue of cross-contamination as you go in and out of rooms, gowning and degowning, the consumption of personal protective equipment, PPE, not to mention the waste of PPE, which by some accounts can be reduced as much as 70% with electronic patient monitoring. This type of patient monitoring also helps cut down on unnecessary patient staff contacts. Is the patient truly in distress? Do I really need to go in that room or can I handle it remotely? So in this time of crisis where there's such a shortage of PPE, it's very important and it makes sense to invest in this type of solution. Taking it a step further, we can now leverage the cameras in the room to deliver an eye in the sky overview of many clinical spaces at once. In this case, these seven rooms are all set up for room view but the user can easily change the source from room camera to any other signal that is being broadcast. For example, you could roll in a portable C-arm, an endoscopy tower, or an ultrasound machine. You can easily select that as the primary source for the room you're looking at. This is ideal for a physician that frequently works out of two or more rooms this interface can also be accessed on a mobile device, like a, an iPad or an Android tablet, or any client PC in the hospital. The physician can easily see the room status and can decide if there's time to see another patient or grab a bite prior to walking down to the patient base. Clicking or tapping on any room brings up the detail screen for that individual room, showing a high resolution image, and any additional sources that are available. So this is the recovery room from the previous slide. We see our telemetry view and our room view. Any source can be scaled to full screen by tapping the button on the bottom right. Tapping again goes back to the original view. It's all accessible with the web browser and secured with login credentials. So only those users that have been granted access by the hospital can access the broadcast. In this age of doing more with less, we can deliver a remote monitoring station similar to what you see here. A technician or a nurse can monitor multiple patients, which can include camera feeds, telemetry views, and electronic health records, as well as the broadcast control, where you can zero in on one patient, manipulate the camera, zoom in, and make a decision to dispatch the nurse right now or go in the room on an as-needed basis. And this is just one example. We can configure the layout to match your individual workflow. And again, there is no hardware footprint, no engine that needs to live under the desk. All the sources are generated by your secure server in your IT closet, far away from the clinical space. And with System Watch, Sony delivers a comprehensive remote system monitoring and maintenance of the entire nucleus system. Alerts and logs can be sent to Sony technicians or your own clinical engineering team to guarantee maximum uptime while keeping technicians out of the room. We realize that you may not have a biomedical or IT resources of a larger healthcare facility. This is why Nucleus is a wise choice. Let us monitor the system and we can alert you to potential problems before they begin to affect patient care. I think the big takeaway here is that Nucleus is uniquely, ultimately the ultimate efficiency tool for healthcare collaboration. Whether you need to capture um, images and video, real-time monitoring, broadcasting, EMR integration, it helps bridge the gap between clinical spaces, teaching spaces, and clinical administration. With Nucleus, patient monitoring is simple. Virtual presence is possible. 
teaching moments can be easily captured and shared. And although we focus primarily on solutions for outpatient surgery in this presentation, Nucleus is a complete solution and can be scaled for the entire enterprise. If you're a healthcare provider and you don't have the room or budget for a large infrastructure project, reach out to us and we'll be happy to provide a personalized demo or set up a proof of concept to see if Nucleus is right for you. It was my pleasure to present to you today. Thank you for spending your time with us and we look forward to seeing you again. We can now open it up for Q&A. Hi, this is Mark Barron. Uh, we do have a couple of questions, but uh, please keep them coming in. So one of the questions is, um, can I view video and patient data from my home office and can I do simple editing? Um, the, the answer is yes, of course. Um, you know, your home office, as long as you have the bandwidth and the connectivity, but more importantly, the user rights or the VPN connected to the hospital um, or the ASC, then you can actually, you know, view and, and review patient data. Um, CMS or the, the content management portion of Nucleus has the ability to do simple editing, cut edits. The idea being you have a very long, complicated case, but you only need to review five minutes of it. So you can do those edits uh, directly on the system itself and download only the smaller portion of it. Uh, next question is, are there any wireless or Bluetooth capabilities? Uh, I'm gonna let Marco uh, Manjaris uh, speak to that one. Uh, in the future, uh, in, in the current product, uh, because of the architecture that we're handling, uh, doing wireless will probably overwhelm some of those accesses, but definitely we're looking into that. And Bluetooth is really, uh, other than for audio, it's really not a solution to send large amount of data with high quality uh, on a network. So other than audio, um, you know, we'll, we'll stick to hardwire connections for anything that has to do with a uh, full feature set of the product. So just to expand on that, we do have an option, uh, which is the mobile monitor, which allows an iPad to view uh, into the OR. So you can actually use an iPad uh, and see the surgery or monitor any of the videos that are going on in the room. Um, so that's, that's wireless over the connectivity of the hospital. You can't do any controlling from there, but you can remotely monitor and view what's going on in that room. So uh, in that in fact, we do have that wireless capability. Next question again for Marco. Uh, hi, I'm wondering if this platform needs 10 gig fiber in order to transmit 4K data. No, the idea of our platform and the strength of our platform is that we are able to utilize under uh, even under one gig to send uh, compressed 4K data that is visually lossless, uh, meaning it will be comparable, if not equal, to some of those quote unquote uncompressed solutions that you have seen in there. Uh, we also have the possibility of sending, you know, a large amount of data and, you know, over three and a half gigs. So at that point, you will need a 10 gig. But the idea of a system like ours is that without having to reutilize, without having to run new infrastructure, without having to invest in a, on a you know, quite expensive back end to go to a 10 gig network, you're able to bring your system to the latest and greatest resolutions and still maintain that one gig capability, which is already present in most of the locations. And uh, the Nucleus platform does have the ability to, um, with our encoders, or as Paul said, our IPCs, our uh, internet protocol converters, uh, they do have the ability of doing either copper or, or fiber. So in that uh, respect, we can, you know, we are future leaning, but we also are realistic in that many of the older hospitals have a copper infrastructure and we are mindful of supporting them also. Uh, another question. An install recently at a, at, a, at a children's hospital that they had already um, reinstalled uh, CAT 6A uh, throughout the entire hospital. And uh, they were concerned that they weren't going to get be able to get 4K uh, because they use copper infrastructure. And we were able to uh, install Nucleus at that facility utilizing their existing CAT 6A network infrastructure. 
uh, to deliver 4K. Paul, here's another one for you. How easy is it to add on new capabilities and functionalities to an ASC? That's a great question. Well, because the, the, the nucleus is mostly centered on software, it's very easy. So as new capabilities and new features come up, it might be just as simple as adding a, a new license to activate that feature. And as we develop new features, we will perform uh, regular uh, software updates that include the additional features. And that's the, really the beauty of Nucleus is once you have the original, the initial hardware infrastructure in place, you know, the IP converters uh, on the modalities, uh, everything else is just software. So that's, it's possible and it's actually quite straightforward and easy to do. That, uh, to add on to that, there's another question. Can you start out with just recording and content management capability and add on the future? Um, that's the idea behind, uh, behind Nucleus. It is software-based, it's license-based. So once you decide that you want to add on that functionality, we can do it remotely uh, you know, once that license is, is paid for. And then from a price perspective, the license is uh, paid once. It's not a renewing or recurring revenue. Um, you pay for it once we add that functionality on. I'll give you a good example. There are, there are other video integration solutions on the market that, for example, if the user wants a quad, they want to see a side-by-side -side image on a display or they want to see four images on a display, that solution usually requires a significant hardware footprint. You have to buy um, a quad a processor, which is a, a piece, a substantial piece of hardware with Nucleus, uh, we can just turn that feature on and on with a license, and it's all based on software. Um, this one's for Marco. Marco, what's involved with running this system on a day-to-day -day basis? Do you need dedicated IT personnel on-premise? Um, very little. If you have a help desk uh, or somebody that can plug in uh, a network cable into a network jack, that's probably the extent of maintaining it. Uh, the beauty of the system like Nucleus is that uh, there's a remote monitoring software that actually does the heavy lifting and uh, Sony, as well as our network operation centers, will be aware of any possible issues on the system and we can react uh, proactively uh, and correct anything even before you start your day-to-day -day operation. So it, it, the involvement from an IT personnel on a day-to-day -day operation is very minimal uh, and everything else is taking, uh, is taking care of it from, from the Sony side. Yeah, the, um, the RMS, the remote monitoring system that Marco touched upon and Paul also on his presentation, uh, it functions 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's just a software package that uh, is a client checking on over 200 points uh, within the system. It checks for out of specs or, or over, over threshold conditions and it alerts us uh, through an email, but it also can alert the, the biomed on site um, it's, it's fully configurable uh, to do that. And, and we didn't get a lot into the weeds of the, of the user interface, but let me just say that despite the, this unit being fairly complex, you know, on the, on the back end, you know, utilizing a server with software, the user interface is, is incredibly simple. You don't, need, you don't need technicians in the room to start a broadcast. Uh, you don't need any any AV people to, to initiate a recording. It's all done so that the nurse can simply go up to the touch panel, t tap a couple of buttons on the touch panel, and uh, and those those functions are activated. Very simple to use. Sorry, um, video. If, if there was uh, there's some noise bleeding through. Everyone could just do a mic check quick. You know. Thank you. Uh, next question, uh, can this be integrated or connected to a patient record system? Uh, yes, yeah, so there, that is one of the, the licenses that is available. If you want to connect to your hospital information systems, your EMR system, um, you know, we are standards-based and all of the big players out there, Epic, McKesson, uh, Cerner, et cetera, they all conform to what's called HL7, which is health level seven, uh, which is a standard protocol. We also conform to that. The idea being once you connect to that um, hospital information system, you can then bring in all the patient metadata into your OR. Uh, so it makes it that much easier on a nurse to bring in modality work list and assign that patient to the recorded videos that are occurring in the room. So 
Uh, that's just another function that we can turn on and off through a licensing capability. Question for Paul, how complex is this to install? Who installs it? What kind of training is offered? Uh, we install the system. It's uh, it's not overly complex to install. Uh, the as I said, as we mentioned, the the hardware in the in the room is is limited to just the IP converters and the uh, the touch panel. Um, we provide uh, as much training as the customer needs uh, after the install, so to the point where they feel that they're comfortable. But usually, as far as training goes, uh, one or two days of training and case support. Should be more than enough to 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 get the the, uh, the hospital leadership and and maybe the clinical leadership very comfortable with the use of the of, the, of nucleus. Yes. Yeah, that's an important point. Is the uh, the case support? So we on the day of go live with the system, um, Sony will send someone in there and kind of handhold the nurses to make sure that they're comfortable through the first day, uh, at least the first day of their. Um, support for cases so that they're comfortable at the end of it and before we leave, they're able to function uh, independently of us. Right. I wanted to add also anyone who's interested in, in seeing that interface up close and personal, um, I have an online version so we can present to you. Just reach out, we can set that up as well. And you'll see exactly what Paul described. It's very simple and fast to use on purpose. Indeed. Uh, next question, uh, we will have competitive comparisons upon product release. Uh, obviously, there are two basic um, uh, integration systems out there. One is the baseband video world, which has been around mm -hmm. for quite a while, um, where you have baseband video connected to a matrix switch, uh, and those are routed around the room. But the next one would be IP-based systems such as ours, um, and if you need further information on that, we can have your sales guy, our sales guy, contact you and do a demo. Or as Paul said, we have a, an online emulation package that we can do uh, and talk you through the different uh, competitive advantages that we have. And we can even, uh, if if you know you're you feel like you need a, an actual physical. Uh, uh, demo set up, we can do a proof of concept right in your room where we bring in a, a compact system that includes all the components that are needed to make Nucleus work in one room. It doesn't connect to the hospital network. Uh, it's all self-contained. Uh, and even though that might have a little bit of hardware footprint as far as the demo goes, it'll give you, you know, uh, a, a very good interpretation of what the actual system would look like. Uh, for clinical use, the, the physicians can can use it. They can they can download the content right after the procedure that day, and um, uh, we call that our proof of concept. Okay. Uh, best call for questions. It seems there's we've answered all the ones up to this point. Great questions, though. Very much appreciated. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for your time. Right. If there's nothing else, closing comments, Paul, David? David. It's, it's a modern way to get this done on a budget with less bus and must to install. Configure it the way you want. Tremendous advantage over the competition. We think so. Paul? Excellent. Well, again, everybody, thank you for your time. And uh, we hope to do this again uh, 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 at the next opportunity. And I hope everybody had uh, some good takeaways from the presentation. And reach out to us if you want to discuss it further. Have a great day. Thanks. Have a great day. Thanks, everyone.